What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials and game clips, minus the sh** Today I'm going to show you how to get the original Half-Life game, including the DLC, working on both the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. So if you want to partake in one of the best trans-dimensional standoffs of all time, then get on down to Black Mesa, stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy, and I hope it helps. First off, a quick warning, only play this VR mod in single player. Do not play this mod in multiplayer on a Steam VAC secured server. Let me say that again, do not play this mod in multiplayer on a Steam VAC secured server. This is because a mod file that gets this game working in VR may potentially trigger a VAC ban. Aside from that, playing this in single player is completely fine and I'll show you how to do that safely as we go. Also as a disclaimer, this is a community made mod, so there are a handful of bugs, glitches and limitations such as no analogue turning, going up and down ladders or through vents can be a bit of a bitch and it is quite common to get momentarily stuck to objects. And though there are workarounds for all of these issues, after spending a few hours with this mod, I definitely prefer to wait for additional fixes and updates or an actual VR release to go through this game in its entirety from start to finish. Still, this is quite cool as it is right now and it's a great opportunity to run around clubbing headcrabs in VR. Just go in with reserved expectations. So keeping that in mind, the first thing you need to do is grab a copy of Half-Life on Steam and you can do that by going to the description below and where it says Half-Life Game, you can click the link to either buy the game directly from Steam or if it's not on sale there, you can go to cdkeys.com and pick up a legit Steam key for about 3 bucks. Both are the same, just get whichever one is cheaper. If you buy from cdkeys.com, you'll get an email with the download link in it. Click that and copy this code here, which is your Steam key. Then open Steam, click add a game, agree to the prompts and paste in your Steam key here to add Half-Life to your library. Then just install the game as you usually would and do the same for the Blue Shift and Opposing Force DLCs if you want them, though these DLCs are completely optional. Once you have Half-Life installed, start the game like you normally would, go to options and then on the video tab, tick this run in a window box, then quit back out of the game. Now to get this game working in VR, check the description below and where it says Half-Life mod download, click the GitHub link for either Rift or Vive. As a side note here, because this mod is being constantly updated, I'll update the download links in the description to make sure that you are getting the best mod available. So don't be alarmed if it looks a little different to this, just follow the link and instructions in the description. Once the page loads up, if you are using a Vive, then download this one. If you are using a Rift, then download this one. Once the file has downloaded, extract the files to your desktop using WinZip or 7-Zip. Now go to your Steam Half-Life install directory, which will be on whatever drive you have Steam installed on. I have Steam installed on the C drive, so I'll go to C drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then open up this Half-Life folder, which is where Steam has Half-Life installed. In here, you will find the game files, and if you have installed the DLCs, you'll see them here as well. This one is Blue Shift, and this one is Opposing Force. Next, just copy the Valve HD folder, the VR folder, and the OpenGL32.dll file from the Half-Life mod folder you downloaded earlier, and paste them into your Steam Half-Life install folder. Now for this mod to work correctly, there are two important steps you must follow. First, you must make this opengl32.dll file read only. And that's because Steam will attempt to delete this mod file each time you start up Half-Life. And if that happens, the VR mod won't work. So to prevent that file from being deleted, just right click the DLL file, choose properties, Tick this read only box here and then click OK. Secondly, you need to head back into the VR mod folder and copy this open VR 
api.dll file and paste that into the Half-Life Steam install folder also. Then right click that file, go properties, and then set this one to read only also, then click OK when you're done. If you have the Blue Shift and Opposing Force DLC packs installed, you'll also need to go back over to the mod folder and in this VR folder, go into the CL DLLs folder and copy this client.dll file. Now paste that file into the B shift CL DLLs folder that's in the Half Life Steam install directory, making sure to replace the files when prompted and make this file read only as well. Then just go into the gearbox. CL DLLs folder and paste that same file again, also making sure to replace the file when prompted and make that one read only also. Once that's all set up, go into Steam and in your games library, right click on Half-Life, choose properties, untick this use desktop game theater while Steam VR is active box and click on set launch options. Now go to the description of this video and copy the Steam launch options text for the VR headset you are using from there and paste it into this launch options field. Then just click OK and close this window down. Now if you are using an Oculus Rift, start up Steam VR, click this arrow, go to settings, click on performance and then untick allow async reprojection and allow interleave reprojection. We do this because the Rift uses its own version of reprojection. Vive users though should leave these boxes ticked. Close down this window and then just start the game or the DLC from inside Steam as you normally would and just ignore this message if you get it. Once you are in the game menu, which won't yet be in VR by the way, start or load a game. As an extra reminder, do not play this game in multiplayer on a VAC secured server by clicking these find server or create server options. Otherwise, this can trigger a VAC ban due to the mod file. Select new game or load game only to start the single player VR mod for Half-Life. First, I'll go ahead and drop into the training mode. Once you are in game, if you think Gordon Freeman walks too fast, which he definitely does, then hit the tilde key on your keyboard, which is this one here, to bring up the console. Then type each of the commands individually that you see on screen now, pressing enter after each one. Then if you want to use teleport instead of smooth locomotion, use the command on screen now to enable that and use this command to disable teleportation and go back to smooth movement. I'll also put these commands in the description below so you can copy and paste them from there if you want. Just be aware that each time you quit the game completely and restart it, you'll need to re-enter those console commands. Once you're ready, close the console window and select resume game or just hit the tilde key again. As far as controls go, I'll put a link in the description below to a couple of pics that illustrate the controls for both Rift and Vive. Of note though, to teleport, if you have that enabled, just hold up on the left touchpad or analog stick and click it in to make the jump. Crouching is done by actually crouching in real life, or you can enable the crouching key command in the console, which is this one. Then just use whatever key is set to crouch in the in-game controls menu on your keyboard. In this case, the default is the left control key. Just note that you won't actually see your character crouch in game, but you will be allowed to move through low hanging obstacles. Unfortunately though, your head will clip through the object. And now for a list of glitches and workarounds. I found that I kept getting stuck to walls, objects and ramps a lot like all the time. Also in the cable car opening scene of the main game, I clipped outside of the car and died when I moved around, meaning I had to start this scene again. To get around that, when in that opening scene or when moving up and down ramps or ladders, it's best to stay as still as possible. To get unstuck from general objects, you can take a physical step backwards to move out of the object or alternatively the teleport mode is really good good at getting you out of sticky situations. If you get really stuck, then open up the console using the tilde key and use the no clip command. This will let you move through 
walls and obstacles in game by pointing your left controller in the opposite direction that you want to move and pressing forward on the left touchpad or analog stick. This can take a bit of getting used to, but just think of it like a rocket booster and you'll be fine. Typing no clip again will turn the no clip feature off. Pressing buttons to open doors and activate consoles can be a little tricky and I found I had to stand back and kind of move around while hitting the button on my controller to find the right spot. And as I mentioned earlier, there is no turning with an analog stick as of right now. You have to physically turn, which wasn't really ideal thanks to Cable Tangle. As far as weapons go, the crowbar was a bit gammy and you can either play around to find the right striking angle or just set the game to easy and run past the first couple of enemies until you get a gun. The guns weren't actually that bad, aside from a bit of positional lagging, though some of the closer range firing was a little bit high. Apparently there is a bug where your gun can get stuck and toggling between weapons will fix that. To toggle weapons on the right touch controller or vive wand, hold left or right on the analog stick or touchpad and click it down. Now, if you have major issues and you really need to skip a section of the game, you can switch to non-VR mode, play through that problem area, and then switch back to VR mode to continue on. To do that, just quit out of the game and close down Steam VR. Then back in the Half-Life Steam install directory, copy the VR saves, which are in this VR saves folder, and paste them into the regular Valve saves folder. Then in Steam, right click Half-Life, go properties, set launch options, and remove the text from in here. Click OK and close out of here, then start Half-Life again and play in non-VR mode to a point that you want. Save the game, quit back out, and then copy the regular Valve save file you just created in the non-VR mode and paste it back to the VR saves folder. Now play the VR mode again by going back into the Half-Life game's Steam launch options and pasting the VR code from the description back into here. Now relaunch Half-Life. Additionally, if you have older saves from a previous Half-Life playthrough that you want to drop into in VR, just copy those old regular saves to the VR saves folder and you're good to go. All in all, it's a bit glitchy, but it wasn't that bad. My main issue was the mod wasn't that great on the stomach, especially compared to something like the Doom 3 BFG VR mod featured in this video. So make sure you bring your VR legs. I'll also put timestamps in the description of this video if you forget how to do a specific step so that you can just jump straight back to that part. And finally, as this mod is a work in progress, if you do see an update to the mod or find a workaround for something that doesn't work quite right, then let me know in the comments and I'll pin all the new info to the top comment so everyone can see. Apart from that, enjoy your stay in Black Mesa. And that's it for this tutorial. So if you like what you saw, then crush that like button, click the links on screen now for more content, or click the EXO logo to subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.